guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl k nominal and i'm back that the, the back with another video this look consists of me updating my two year if you will see right here you will see in this foundation routine that i did something similar to that video for you guys because i really wanted to update and show you guys some of the similar things i use and come on who doesn't want to save money come on if you're really trying to ball on the budget kill this natural look without breaking your pockets you already know to do keep watching so the first thing i'm gonna go ahead and do is clean off all the excess powder that i have on my face any oils really nigga i said powders why the fuck i have powders on my face but <laughs> i will take out all the oils from my face and i'm using this witch hazel the witch hazel and the cotton pad to go ahead and remove that So the first step of my whole makeup process when it comes to the foundation, I would like to go ahead and start with my brows. Brows is usually the first thing I like to do. I would go ahead and brush the brows. The next thing I'll do is go ahead and outline the bottom of my brows first. And you wanna be really light-handed with this pencil because you don't have to go too deep in there and dab it in there because it will be Pigmented. I'm telling you, this, this pencil, you don't really have to go too harsh on it. Okay, so for the brows, what I'm now going to go ahead and do is take LA Girl Concealer. I'm using Chestnut Fawn and Cool Tan. I'm using Cool Tan for the bottom and I'm using Chestnut Fawn for the top. Yeah, Cool Tan is a little bit too light for me, but I like that full dramatic brow so i use cool tan and i use chestnut fawn for the top of course the flat brush that i got from aliexpress if you guys are wondering the brushes i use i can also put a link in the description box matter of fact i'll put it in the comments so my page won't get copyright or get flagged so read in the comments and i like to start in the middle I'm gonna go ahead and take Cool Tan and place this on my lid, the same shade that I used to conceal the bottom of my lid. Spread this out and use this as a eyeshadow base. And use the same brush and pat that in. I would like to go ahead and set my lid, especially under my brows. Just so nothing moves throughout the day. And if I just don't want to wear any eyeshadow, I can go ahead and leave it as that. Or maybe slap on like a contour shade on top. The first shade I'm going to go ahead and use is this shade right here. I'm not going to pronounce it because I'm not going to go ahead and mispronounce it so it's like a really dark brown plum shade and i'm dipping it into this brush right here this is a flared out living brush these brushes don't have any names they're from aliexpress like i said i'll be sure to list them down in the comments so if you're looking to save some coins you not no money for no mac no more fee. i got these i got these in a package so I'm looking at the users. I'm gonna go 
ahead and just start packing this into my crease and only mainly focus this on the outer part of my eyes just so I can get that part of my eyes to have that definition. I don't want the whole eyes to have it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Savage. Ooh, I'm, I'm a savage. Yeah. And I'm using this as a transition shade just so I can blend out the previous shade. So everything is smooth and like since you use the latest here. For the last shade, I'm gonna go ahead and take the OG. This last shade, it's a, like a newish brown shade. And it's a little bit of pink on this one, but it's really pretty. All I'm doing is just patting this on my lid. And I'm blending it towards that deep plum shade like this. If you lose that depth of it, you can go back and bend it towards the OG. Like so. So back to the face, what I like to do is take my Chamomile Lotion, you can get this at Walmart, you can get this from Walgreens, anywhere. What I like to do with this is take this and place it all around my mouth, anywhere I have any oil problems and place that. Instead of me using the Milk of Magnesium, the Milk of Magnesium used to get in my skin and it's not good to get into your skin. So if you're looking for a better version of Milk of Magnesium with something to mattify your face, this is the way to go. Thanks to Kiki Adams again for this tip. This won't move or budge your makeup, girl. I'm telling you, you need this in your routine. Foundation I'm going to go ahead and use. As you guys know, if you watch my old video, yes, I still have this foundation. I can't, I don't know. It's like crack, y'all. What is in it? <laughs> but this is one of my new staples also too i feel like these two make a marvelous foundation like i'm telling you you put these two together your makeup ain't going nowhere okay ain't going nowhere but this is new but if you know me already i've been using this go back to my old video like i said it's still an OG. <laughs> I use this for the bottom and then I use this for more of the inner and top of my face. And I'll blend out this shade first, then work my way in. Y'all, do y'all see this? All right, so one of my favorites on the level to go ahead and really contour and conceal is, of course, LA Girl Concealer. And one of my new favorites is the Black Opal. When it comes to L'Oreal, this is something new to my regimen because that's what I find about with the L'Oreal. It really acts as LA Girl, but it's not too heavy under the eyes. First thing I like to do is just go ahead and apply the concealer shade under my eyes, my nose, my cupid's bow, my forehead, 
just to brighten this up a little bit more cool tan just a little bit in the inner corner of the eye I'll contour my forehead just a little bit and add the rest on my chin and where I want to contour so the first thing I like to do is go back into my foundation brush and blend out the edges of my concealer just because I feel like it gives them more of a flawless finish once you're finished concealing and blending out your concealer rather than just going straight in there. And I will do that later for all of my concealer shades. I'm gonna just go ahead and start from the bottom of my concealer. The same way I work my way up with the foundation brush, and I work my way in towards the eye. You see, stereophonic sound for the home is recorded on two separate tracks, each one giving special emphasis to certain sections of the orchestra as heard from those positions. Now, when played back simultaneously on two separate systems, the sounds are blended together to achieve a new Now I'm taking my OG Elf brush, of course. Once you have everything been in, I like to go ahead and just go back and touch in with the foundation brush. I'm telling you, going back in with your foundation brush is the key because it gets everything to blend in. Nothing doesn't seem like it's harsh, the demarcation line, everything blends in. Now, going right back into the Sasha Bunny Cup, I'm gonna go ahead and grab some tap some off. Literally, I'm gonna go light, deep pat under my eyes. I'm not baking, but this is kind of sort of baking, but not really baking. I'm really just patting this into my skin. I feel like this gives me the best, the best finish because I'm not letting that powder sit under my eyes just so it can be dry. It will pick up under faster because the more product you put on your face, the more product you're building up. And I want to use the least amount of product on my face just so I can get a really flawless finish and still of a skin-like finish. So that's another tip I can give out. So we're jumping into contour. I'm gonna go ahead and set my contour with this Black Radiance Contour Palette. This is the light to medium. I'm gonna go ahead and take the Sculpt shade because I feel like the contour shade is too much of like more of my skin tone. It'll be better on like snow bunnies, I promise you. It'll be better for you, but this is something I don't really use. And I'll just pat this towards my contour. So I'm gonna go ahead and give myself my face a break and jump right back into the eyes. So what I decided to do is take this Wet n Wild black liner pencil and line my waterline just just to give it a more I don't know it just gave it a more dramatic look to it. I don't know. I just finished the look completely and we we're just going with the flow honestly. I'm gonna go back into the palette and take the shade Savage Mandy and I'm gonna place this in the inner corner of the lower lash line and basically give our waterline a completed look because I feel like you can't complete this look without putting something in the bottom of your lash line, waterline, whatever you wanna call it because it won't complete it. Unless you like the naked eye like this, but I prefer me to complete the eye by putting something under my eyes. Using the same brush, I'm using that dark brown tone shade just to deepen up the outer part of my eyes.
guys so i'm back i'm gonna go back and jump into my face what i'm gonna go ahead and do is use my milani baked bronzer and this is in the shade soil and i'm gonna go ahead and just add these to like the temples of my cheek a little bit on my forehead and on my chin when it comes to the second thing of our face second to last thing to our face i'm going ahead and set this using the master chrome maybelline highlighter this is molten gold and if you know me this is i can't help it it's really an og for me i love it it gives more of a melty dewy finish honestly i i have no problem with this highlighter whenever whenever i use it So on to lips, I have choices. I'm gonna just keep it simple and nudish. I have different options. Honestly, I'm just gonna go ahead and outline my lips with a Wet n Wild Brown Lip Pencil and this two right here. These are new to my collection. This is the Black Ratings Perfect Tone Matte Lip Cream. These shades are, give me one second, Go Nude and Naughty Brown. Alright loves, this is the finished product. I hope you guys did enjoy this look. I really did kill this look, I am have to say, because all of this under, I know for sure, $100 and it came out wonderful. So if you're wondering how to get a cheap, 100% full effect foundation routine this is your look for you this is natural you can do whatever you want to to add it up these products you can find at walmart walgreens literally at family dollar dollar tree hope you guys do check out the products that i list down in the description box and the link i will put in the comments for you guys who are wondering about the brushes i use if you did enjoy this look don't forget to like comment subscribe and don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the bell notification